And we're here at IGN showing our MLB 12 to show for the PlayStation Vita. Uh, and we're loading into, I think this is Cincinnati versus the Pirates. So I'll just give a quick rundown on, on some of the things that makes uh, the Vita cool. Is one, we've added touchscreen functionality for while you're pitching. So you can pick, the, pick your pitch, which Eric, Eric will do. And you can see he can touch his fastball and he'll actually choose that pitch to throw. And you can pick where you want to pitch by touching the strike zone, and it'll move the ball over. And once he's, once he's moved it over, he then uses the regular mechanic to pitch uh, like he would on a PS3 version. Uh, you can also do pickoffs using um, the back touch, and you can also field using the back touch as well. Um, all our menus um, you can navigate um, through touchscreen controls, and, and that's kind of what we wanted to do being the first year on a new console is, is use you know, things that make the Vita special, um, but not maybe go too crazy in the first year because what was really important for us was getting that PS3 uh, MLB to show experience on a handheld that you can take on the road. Um, we were confident that if we could do that, uh, people would be really excited about getting their hands um, on the Vita version. Uh, the next big thing for Vita is, is, is cross-functionality with cross-play. I mean, I'm sorry, with cross-platform saves. And what that is, is if you're a Road to the Show fan, a franchise fan, or you play season modes, uh, you can save your save files from the PS3 or the Vita and take them on the road with you. And it's a really simple process. Uh, when you go to load franchise or you go to load Road to the Show, it gives you an option to upload to the cloud. You hit X, it, it throws it up there. Uh, up to the cloud, you pull out your Vita, you take it on the road, uh, you turn it on. If you go to load that same road to show a franchise file, it's going to ask you, do you want to download from the cloud? You hit X one more time, and you're playing that exact same save file, and you can do that back and forth. And it helps create this great synergy and relationship between the PS3 and the Vita that we didn't quite have with the uh, PSP due to its power limitations, uh, but it's not an issue that we have uh, with the Vita. Um, also, basically, our 90-95% of our feature set from PS3 has made it over to the Vita. Um, we have a new pitching mechanic, a new hitting mechanic. We have over a thousand new animations. We have an, an entirely new art style that we're going with. Uh, we have uh, new um, commentary. All of that has made it over to the Vita. So you're not really getting MLB 11, you're really getting MLB 12 to show minus one or two features. So it's, it's a fully fleshed out uh, game for the Vita that will launch on March 6 along with the PS3 version. How's the position right now? Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Did you want anything else or is that it? Uh, uh, was that pitching the whole time during that video? Yeah, yeah, yeah stuff? So I'll do that, yeah. Uh, one more out. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, well, you can fast forward. Yeah, a little bit of the hitting right. footage as well. Okay. Um, we'll just hit start. Yeah. And go down to fast forward and hit next half inning. And now you're hitting. All right, so he's hitting here, and uh, this is our new default uh, camera view for the Vita. It's also the same one for the PlayStation 3. Um, another one I focused this year was to make the game more accessible, not necessarily dumb it down, but give the end user more tools at their disposal uh, to succeed more. And even if you fail, we wanted to make sure we were giving you enough feedback to let you know why you're failing so you can get better at the game. Uh, so this new default camera view is a part of that. Um, this swing analysis, swing info uh, graphic that you see on the left side, on the right side of the screen behind the batter gives you info on your contact and your swing timing. So we, if you didn't hit a home run and you struck out, at least you know why, why you did not uh, succeed. So you can learn how to get better at the game. We're seeing some of the uh, new ball physics, which was uh, another one of our 70 new features and improvements for the PS3 version and the Vita version. And what we've done is we've basically rewritten all of the baseball logic. So we have true one-to-one -one ball physics this year. Uh, so you're going to see the hit variety. It, it, it's off the charts. You're going to see more sinkers, more liners. The ball speed is actually a little bit faster now. Uh, so you'll see fly balls tail away from outfielders. Uh, you'll see ricochets on the base paths, and it just creates so much more of an organic feel while you're playing a baseball game. And uh, that's just a quick rundown of uh, some of the cool features on MLB 12, the show for the Vita.